we're going to test our EVAP purge valve, which is right here. Hope you can see that. There we go. It's right here. Let's take that out and give it a test to make sure it is not leaking engine vacuum as a possible source of rough idling. Over to show you the throttle body. This hose here, that's where I disconnected it. So this goes to this hose here, and then it sits in the car this way, and it's up here just above your brake fluid cap. It's right here, and there's one push-on connector here that we pulled off. Just squeeze it and pull it off, and it connects. This end connects back here on the firewall. So that's how I pulled it out. So here's all the tools that I used needle nose pliers, vacuum gauge, 9 volt battery, two test leads. That's all you need. So this is an EVAP purge valve, and it has electrical connectors just two connectors this goes to the throttle body intake so you have suction here from the vacuum of the engine this goes to the gas tank so let's put on our vacuum gauge and simulate engine vacuum so if we pump this up, engine vacuum on this car is about 20. So we can let this set here and it should hold at 20. So there's no leak and this is normally in a closed position unless you want to vent vapors off the gas tank and the computer on the car does that for you. So we'll just simulate the PCM of the car by putting on some test probes here. This is a 9 volt battery to simulate the 12 volt of the car. So let's hook that up. And our gauge is still holding at 20, so there's no leaks in this. So let's put this on the 9 volt battery. And we'll watch our gauge while we do this. So as soon as we touch, it should release. There we go. It released. So it's operating correctly. There's no vacuum leaks in this. And this coil in here does open and close properly. So this is good.